Austin and I are bailing. We just want to film outside the office, so that's what we're gonna do. So I carry an EDC survival kit in my backpack. I don't plan to live off that thing when the zombie apocalypse comes. That's not my style. It's just things that I need every day. That's what I carry with me. <laughs> Knife wise? Knife wise. The new pair of three. <laughs> That's right. So, guys, I keep this kit in a little bag that's about this size. So, I'm going to walk you through the whole thing and then uh, we'll let Austin ask any questions that he might have. There it is. You got a black trash bag, you got a white trash bag, post it notes. I've got an emergency blanket. Essie Azula. Love this thing. Bandana. These things are ultra cheap. We sell one for like seven bucks. It's got a compass on it. That, and it has a little reflective mirror. <laughs> Granola bar, you got paracord. I keep a Streamlight flashlight in here. It's a little bit big, but it's what I've got. I carry a Victorinox CRKT Eaton tool, a little bit of fat wood, toilet paper, a little bit of soap, a little top saw. Uh, I keep these little fire starters. They're homemade out of egg crates. You can see them there. All right, don't judge me for this. Austin judged me already. He's standing over here laughing. Oh, bad. So I built a little first aid kit, a little opening first aid kit out of a priority mail shipper. It's got a whole bunch of stuff in it. Let me run through that with you real quick. Gauze, cotton balls, cotton swabs, water purification tablets. Pro tip here, they never write the instructions on how to use them on the actual packaging. So I will always write the instructions on there before I take it out. Moleskin band-aids, hand sanitizer, it's got a paper clip and a safety pin, some chapstick, super glue, latex gloves, this is Neosporin in a straw, from Advil, and that's it for the first aid kit. Oh, knees are cold. So the next thing I keep in here is a clear plastic bag so I can see everything inside of it. SPF 30 sunscreen, little Exotac fire steel, some herbal tea in here, licorice flavor. I keep a pencil, like I said, I like to attach things to each other so I keep some medical tape on there, some dental floss on the pencil. I keep some toothpaste and a toothbrush. I keep duct tape on a pen, a little pen that I cut down. I also keep a Sharpie in here and on the Sharpie, I've actually attached a little bit of string to a needle, a lighter, do the old trick where you uh, put the duct tape around it. Keep two extra batteries for the flashlight. Triple A is easy to find. As I always take a Nalgene and I take this Ole Camp stove, a little aluminum stove, goes just like that. That way I can actually heat things up. So there you have it. That's the whole loadout. And uh, Austin, do you want to walk through some of this stuff? Uh, what you got, Austin? That's right. Um, I want to know about the stuff you didn't cover. So let's okay. start with the zip ties. So I forgot the zip ties. They're just super cheap zip ties. In fact, I want to upgrade them. Yeah. I keep them because sometimes backpacks will break, different okay. things will break. Okay. Yep. And then what about this little carabiner? So I keep a little carabiner around <clears throat> simply to use for whatever. Mm -hmm. I can hook a water bottle on it. Sure. If I've got a piece of gear I want to hang around. I keep that around. Sure. I was curious as to why you have two different colors of trash bags or just two in general. Okay, so I keep two trash bags and this is kind of random, but um, when I'd go camping with the scouts, this one was for trash. Uh, okay. And this one was for keeping things pleasure. dry. Oh, okay. <laughs> trash and pleasure. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yes, what is in this other tube? Are they both Neosporin? <laughs> okay, Austin asked about these other two tubes here and uh, one is salt and one is pepper. Salt. Actually, oh. one is Tony Satchery's. Oh, it's in this one. So you just pull the cap off of these oh, things and <laughs> you put it on there. Some good old Creole. If you're not familiar with Tony Satchery's, <laughs> it's delicious, guys. It's so good. I have another question is, why do you have so many cases? Like, why do you keep your um, Victorinox in a case, your flashlight in a case? I leave things in the cases um, simply because if I ever want to put it on my belt and pull it out, I just leave it there. So. It's kind of a modular system. If things want to come out, they can come out. If they want to stay in, they can stay in. The bandana. Why not a schmog? That schmogs are yeah, huge, they're, dude. They're, they're where's where's the? Uh, okay, a schmog. Three musketeers. A schmog <laughs> would not fit inside of my home crafted bag. It would take up the entire bag. So a bandana to me is much more logical because it's going to take up less space. 
These bags are pretty amazing. You can buy this ripstop nylon at uh, Joanne's Fabric and Crafts. You might be the only Y chromosome in there. <laughs> But uh, did you make that bag yourself? I made this bag myself. Oh, yep. Sweet and spicy That's chili a, dark chocolate. I, mean, I don't know, I think, man. I think I understand why that one found its way into the pack <laughs> because it was the only one left over from the box. No, I totally got suckered at Walmart, man. It's like new flavor, <laughs> sweet and spicy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing I want to know from you, Austin. Sure. Is this sufficient for an EDC hiking survival kit? Would I survive? I would say it's pretty sufficient. You've got. I would say nearly everything you need. You've got tools to stay warm. You've got tools to, uh, I mean, you could hunt with some of this stuff. You've got light. I could hunt with it. Uh, <laughs> I could hunt with some of that. <laughs> you could hunt with some of this stuff. You could stay clean, uh, keep your keep your cuts um, clean from infection if you needed to. I think you're pretty set here. You think I'm pretty set? Yeah. I, nice. I can't think of anything that I would add. Yeah, you know, I think the big thing for me with this kit at this point is shaving off pounds. like. Mm -hmm. This is the flashlight I have, so it's the flashlight I carry. Yeah. Um, let's be honest, I can get the same number of lumens. I think this is 90 lumens oh. in a much smaller package, much lights. lighter. Yeah, you yeah, can. Yeah, for sure. But it's what I have, and so it's what mm -hmm. I throw in here, and it's no, what I carry. Sense. So there's my loadout. Score out of 10, Austin? I'm going to give you a, a 9 out of 10 because everyone has room for improvement. 9 out of 10. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and then drop it in my bag, and we rock and roll. Woo! Okay guys, next week, what are we doing, Austin? We are gonna buy a new knife for Ben. Well, Ben's gonna buy a new knife for Ben. We're gonna help him decide. And uh, you guys are gonna decide. We'll film the video. You guys decide what knife I'm gonna buy. That's coming up next week. Should be highly enjoyable. Catch you then.